Hey, how's it going, guys? In this lesson, I'll be covering how to plot a bar graph with MapPlotLib in Python. All right, so bar graph is a visualization tool to represent a categorical data. And a bar graph is also one of the most used and popular chart type beside line graph. Before we dive into the tutorial, this tutorial is aiming more towards uh, beginners. So I'll only be covering just the basics in this lesson. All right, so here uh, in my Python script, and here's my uh, data set. And here's the graph we're going to create in this exercise. All right, so before uh, we can use my Pylab, we need to install the library. And you can install the library using the command pub install my Pylab. So there are two different types of uh, bar graph. One is vertical and the other one is horizontal. And when you plot both graphs, the syntax are identical. And here let me import the MyPilot library. And we want to import the MyPilot.pyplot module as PLT. And to plot a bar graph, we we'll insert the PyPlot module, the bar. And this method is going to plot a vertical bar graph. If you want to plot a horizontal bar graph, then we'll use the bar h method. All right, so inside the uh, bar method, I need to insert the uh, index position where each bar is going to go. And since I haven't created uh, the index position, so here let me do it right now. And I'll name my array object as positions. And it's going to be a list. Oh, here let me do this. So basically I can create my uh, position index from zero to three using the range function. Then I'll just provide my array size uh, from all my data points. Now going back to the bar method, I can now insert the uh, bar position followed by the data itself. And to display the graph, we'll uh, reference the plt object that show. And that'll create a regular bar graph. And there are a couple of things we can do to make the uh, presentation much better. First, we can uh, replace the axis label. So imagine that each bar represents a student. This is going to be uh, student one, student two, three, and four. And to replace uh, the axis label, we can use the x ticks method. And again, we need to uh, specify which label is going to go. Then we insert the array object that contains the label. And it's going to be replace access label. And it's going to be plot bar graph. Now, the last thing I want to do uh, to finish this lesson is I want to provide an axis title to both uh, x axis and y axis as well as in the chart title. And let's insert the chart title first. We can insert a chart title by uh, referencing the title method. Inside the title method, I want to name my chart my bar graph. And to insert the axis title, we'll use the x label method and the y label method. So this is going to be students and it's going to be student heights. And if I launch the graph, and it's going to be the final output that I'm going to present to my viewers. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.